whenever you're ready, Coach. Well, I thought the first 10 minutes, uh, the score was 19 all, and I thought it was a pretty good uh, first quarter. But uh, once our two big guys got in foul trouble, their big guys just absolutely dominated us. We had no way of keeping them off the offensive boards or scoring in the low post. And once you can't stop a team defensively, we, we were playing five guards at one time. Once you can't really stop a team and they get the confidence that they can basically just execute whatever they want, uh, it becomes very, very hard. And the same thing was true in the second half. We got in a little further foul trouble and uh, had to play small and, and uh, NC State was able to take advantage. Questions? Any questions for Coach Larry? Jim, the, the second half shooting for NC State, was there something defensively that you guys just didn't do as well as you would like? They shot the ball really well in the second half. Yeah, I said we, we couldn't stop them. We, we just, we're not a very good defensive team, haven't been all year long. And when we big guys get in foul trouble, then we've got no resistance at the rim. And uh, the weakest parts of our, our game are defense and our rebounding. And um, NC State started there, two big guys. Uh, I don't think they do that very often. And it immediately causes problems for us. You hadn't seen, CJ Bryce hadn't played due to concussion issues and he came in kind of deliberately. Was there anything, you know, having you scouted this team and knowing if he was going to be here tonight, what he, what he brought, what he changed in the second half potentially? No, it, it really was not about CJ or the guards. It was really about the bigs. Once they started the two big guys and we just don't have any depth. We lost uh, a kid named Keith Stone um, right after uh, our Clemson game. Played a few minutes against Duke, but uh, he was hurt, had surgery, and he's out indefinitely. That that reduces us to playing Rodney Miller and Sam Wardenberg together. And when Rodney Miller goes out, Sam's got to go to the center position. So uh, we're very, very shorthanded there. And you know, Funderburg was terrific. Your guards were able to get some offensive rebounds late, Wong especially. Um, but you didn't always score off the offensive rebound. Uh, thoughts about that? Well, you know, first, first of all, an offensive rebound means you miss the first shot. We're not a great offensive rebounding team. We're not a good rebounding team at either end of the floor. When we get really small, the only time you get offensive rebounds is when you shoot a long shot and it bounces long, you're able to use your speed to chase it down. And we did that several times. Isaiah Wong uh, got a couple of those. Um, 